community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, I posted the chart, hourly chart of wheat over the last uh, 10 days. As you can see, we made that three drive to a bottom, which is basically a butterfly pattern on the bottom down there at 6.11 uh, uh, per bushel. We rallied up uh, just about a dollar a bushel, up to 7.05 last night, as you can see. And then we gave back a good 25 cents of that since they've basically said that the Russian deal is supposed to be copacetic and it's going to go through. In other words, you had really bullish news, and yet the market sold off. But remember, it was very overbought today when we went up and completed the ABCD pattern. What's interesting, you remember on Friday, we were setting right at that 382 retracement, and you can see the gap up, and then boom, down it went. So very interesting as you watch some of these things unfold. We'll be doing a lot of that when I do the uh, one day trading uh, segment that's going to be on August the 2nd and that'll be a lot of fun we're going to be looking about nine markets to trade during the day the goal is to make your tuition which is $295 we've done that in the others that we've had this will be the fifth one I believe over the last uh, four years and uh, I think we're going to have a lot of fun in fact we're having such great volatility it's something that I really look forward to, and I, I enjoy doing that five hours. It goes so fast, it's like a blink of an eye. I mean, we start at 9 o'clock in the morning, we go straight through to a 2. Usually we have about four trades during the day, sometimes uh, one or two more, but uh, usually around four trades. Our goal is to try to make the money, and then I have the PowerPoint presentations for you on how I got together with these things to make them fit together so that they're usable in a pattern, and then other things that we have uh, – that uh, you know are interesting too and I have all kinds of data to show you how these things work now we're going to take a trip across the old pond and we're going to go over here to the German DAX we'll get this up here so you'll be able to see that now this is completed uh, a major pattern in here you'll be able to see it that uh, basically you can see that's a one three five pattern each one is lower uh, we're backing off just a little bit to do today, just mild, but still backing off a little bit. Now, as long as we don't get above that high right up in here, this is a valid pattern. Whether it's going to do a, a drive one, drive two, drive three to the downside, no one knows that. And that's what you have to do when you're doing pattern recognition is to find out that that's all you've got to do. Folks, one of the reasons I've done this with TFNN over the past uh, 17 years is that I've met some really smart people out there that give me information that I'm not aware of. And over the weekend, uh, one of our listeners in uh, Switzerland, I've, I've talked to him on the phone once, but I've never met him. And he had some information that he wanted to share with me on gold. And it literally startled me. And so I chatted with him over the weekend and said, I'd like to share this. Uh, you know. And he said, well, why don't you share it on your day trading thing that you're going to do on August the 2nd? And I think I'm going to do it. What he showed me is basically why gold is bearish and why it's going to go down. Now, we're going to find out whether that's true or not, but he had some really good ideas that I had never considered before. And remember, <clears throat> I've been doing a lot of gold trading. Gold is something I trade almost every day, along with the S&P bonds. Those are my big three. And uh, gold and crude oil, of course. But uh, that's that's what we're that's what we're watching here. Now, those of you that listen to the radio show each week, and like we did on Friday, and also like I did in the newsletter over the weekend, and sent out the videos on it, we made we hit some major major resistance in the crude oil at sixty uh, seventy seven dollars a barrel, folks. Uh, if you take a look at the charts from the newsletter, you'll see that it's done everything necessary. Today we had the 382 pullback. It's already got a dollar profit in it from that level, verifying that, yes, that may have been the high in crude oil for quite some time. 
But like you say, you know, it's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose, and you don't want to get involved with that. I want to share you a little bit of personal information, folks. Uh, I've been a very lucky person my whole life, not just, you know, playing cards, ponies, whatever it is. Uh, I've just been a lucky person, everything. I mean, I've been shot twice. Neither one of them, you know, uh, ended up hurting me very bad. Uh, you know, I've just been really lucky. My only my only two, uh, well, <laughs> divorce was one. And then I was, one person was a big disappointment to me, but he couldn't do anything about that. In fact, remember, I, I've always said here that my grandma used to tell me that the greatest, uh, the, the easiest way to make yourself unhappy is to try to please everyone. And boy, that just doesn't work. So spend some time pleasing yourself and you'll be better off. And also helping people is very, very important. But let's uh, stop and think here what we're looking at when we're seeing these markets. I've been very bearish, as you can see from the newsletter. And we're up and still in this new highs. We might break through and go higher uh, today, but we're not going to be higher by the end of the week, folks. If we're sharply higher by the end of the week, it's time for me to take all my little toys, get on my friendly burrow, and uh, get it moving out into the uh, desert. Because uh, this, is, uh, this is a bunch of patterns that I have not seen this many patterns coming together. Uh, I mean, I'm really serious about this. Since the bottom, this is a top, but since the bottom of 2009 on March the 5th, we had so many of those you know, coming together. It was really a big deal. But I posted the one for the S&P. You can see that's lined up perfectly. The cash S&P is actually is better. I want to get that up here so you'll be able to see it here. Uh, let's get it up. I'll put it up here next here. This is the cash. Or the other one. This is the cash. So let's put it up. Anyway, we're same thing here with the S&P. So if I can just find the little clicker. There we go. Come over here. Click this. Click that. And there we are. So that's what we're that's what we're staring at here today. Now we were lower last night for most of the night, and then as we came in closer to the opening, buying came in. Mainly, a part of the reason was Tesla. Tesla's had a big move today to the upside, uh, about six dollars, I believe, and that takes it high above, you know, that old resistance at uh, 281. Maybe all maybe they're all going to do that. Apple, you know, Meta stock uh, or what Meta and all the others, though they they could all do that without any doubt. But that's what they're going to have to do to keep this bull market running because it's going to be interesting to see how what happens on the 24th, a week from today, is when the NASDAQ is revising the weighting structure of the Big Seven. And that means that they're going to make it a lot harder for the Big Seven to influence the NASDAQ. They're going to cut it back, the weighting on that. They're still going to be the same price. But the weighting for the NASDAQ is going to be different. So they can be up strong, and yet the NASDAQ – because it's got a lot more stocks than those seven could be down. I don't know the answer to that, but we're going to find out when it's coming due a week from today. Very, very important to pay attention to that. And those are some of the things that I think are relatively important, but one never knows, of course. We've got some big patterns happening in a lot of different things. Uh, I mentioned the gold market. Uh, we'll, and we'll take a break here, 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors 
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I'm going to go through the Magnificent 7 here just to show where we are. Uh, you can see the chart here on um, Tesla. We're far away from the old highs, but we're still at a very, very strong level. As you can see here, as you're watching this, uh, that we gapped above this number here today. We hit 287. I think we're trading at 286 and change or so. That could be a breakaway gap. That's the one that looks uh, the most bullish on a shorter-term basis, but so many of these are not that bullish. Now, here's one that is. This is NVIDIA. And what I've done here is to draw in some of these patterns to show you the long-term, you know, swings uh, based on Fibonacci numbers like 1.618 and stuff like that. But as you can see here with NVIDIA, where are you, NVIDIA? Hold on here a second. And that didn't come up. Uh, did the chart not come up? Let's try it again. Boy, they're trying to play with my sidekick again but you'll notice here there's where we are I believe uh, I believe there's Nvidia on the shorter time frame you can see it's making this level up in here I, I don't know if it's taken that high out yet I don't check the stock but that's what it's looking at right here this was the earnings that came out just absolutely super knocked the socks off due to artificial intelligence earnings and then of course we've completed this uh, Three drive to a top pattern and a butterfly coming in here at the 1.618 expansion of that number. All righty. Now let's move on to a couple others because if you see what they're doing, it'll give you an idea. I want you to see a really harmonic stock, folks. Harmonic, I mean swings that are equal and that run together uh, easily. This is the long-term weekly here in Microsoft. You'll be able to see the beautiful three drive to a bottom down here, folks. That's textbook. I mean, when you see a three drive pattern, it should make your little heart go flutter, flutter, flutter like mine does. But anyway, you have the three drive to a bottom pattern, and then you have the expansion up. The first one is 300% of that one. The second one is 1.618 of that one. And the other one is 1.27 of that one, making a new high by half a dollar so far it's uh, still up on the day, but very slightly is what I heard uh, earlier. So that's another one that we're paying 
uh, pretty close attention to as far as looking at it for a breakout above that level. I do not trade stocks. I just watch them as a forerunner to what could be going on. Now, the next one we're going to take a look at here is Alphabet or Google. Take your choice on what you want to call it. I'm going to stick with Google because that's what it started with. I don't think they should be changing their name, but they don't listen to what I have to say, which is okay. Again, you have a beautiful three drive to a pattern right here to a bottom level. Then you have the one, three, five to the upside and the big move up here. We're having a big retracement here up to the 78% level. If we get above here, could be, you know, box up the patterns, folks, because they're not going to be working for a while if we get sharply above the old here up around that. Uh, I think it's close to the 290 level is something like that. One of those. Uh, no, excuse me. <laughs> that, that, that price would have been 135 uh, in that. Now, let's take a look here at, at Broadcom. Here's one that should be completing this beautiful uh, three-drive butterfly pattern today making new highs and bringing in the last of the uh, of the sheep is what I think but who knows so you can see it here where it happened to don't tell me that it disappeared oh. okay folks give me give me just a small chance here to uh, shucks this is not good give me a second um Okay, here it is. Let's see if we can get it up here correctly. There's where we want to be. Boy, the technical part of this job is what drives me absolutely bonkers. Anyway, you can see this is the pattern. You know, this is when the earnings came out again. Big run up, pulled back, and now it's making this pattern right here, which is a butterfly pattern on this time frame here, which is over the last two and a half weeks. So as we make new highs up in here, that's completing this smaller pattern. So that's all it is. It's a completed pattern. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't, but that's what it's all about. Nothing works all the time. Pattern recognition works because it tells you when it's wrong, and you can get out of Dodge. You don't have to worry about it. That's the whole key to it. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. Now, let's take a look here at Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. This stock has not made new highs as yet. You've seen it's followed this parallel channel here for the past four months just absolutely perfectly. All of these little buying opportunities along the way were 382 retracements. And someone asked, why don't I trade them? I don't trade stocks. If I trade one stock a year, it's usually one stock a year, and it's usually wrong. So I, I put a, a buy a put or a call. And I, you know, pay a couple hundred dollars or something for it. But nope, I don't. I'm a, I'm a short-term pattern recognition trader, folks. And this is what my niche is, and I know how to do it. Now, do am I right all the time? Absolutely not. But I'm right more than I'm wrong. That's what that floor trader's handbook has proven to me. But I knew that, you know, 40 years before the floor trader's handbook. All it did was go through the statistics that show, yeah, by gosh, it does work. And all you have to do is start looking at charts, and you're going to find two out of three of them that work. And show me a golfer that can hit 66 percent of their of their games, and also a baseball player that would bat 66. So that doesn't happen very often. Okay. I hope you pay attention to that. Now we got two more to go here. Actually, one more to go, and that is Mr. Amazon. It'll just take a second to get it up. Here's another one that gapped up. I don't know if it gapped up again today or not. But it's leaving an island up there. All it takes now is the tiniest little bit of uh, selling, and this thing will trap everybody that's bought it over the last three days because that is an island up there. And when you see these islands, like there's one right back here, and there was another one here. So this is not an island, but uh, there was another one somewhere. It must have been farther back. But <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> anyway, th those are the ones that we're paying attention to. Now, we have Stan Harley coming up as our guest. And if you remember a few weeks ago, he was looking for a key date coming in on July the 15th, which was a Saturday. And now he's going to be talking to us, hopefully, about what he sees in the cards. He's been very accurate uh, with his predictions so far. So we certainly want to do that. That'll be really interesting. And then tomorrow, our guest is the Wolfman himself, Shane Smolian. And I will not be here on Wednesday, but I'll be here Thursday and Friday, and on Friday, uh, my oh, that's uh, oh my goodness, next Friday, oh my goodness, not, nobody on that date, the 21st. <laughs> I have to figure out what's going on. Okay, 
Let's move on here. Uh, we got uh, one. Uh, I got a little bit of time left. Hold on. I thought I did, but what happened to my to my clock? Okay, just a second. Uh, we got one minute to go. Um, I want to mention, folks, of all the stuff that I sent out over the weekend, all of those charts that I sent out were bearish. Now, I, I was looking at it for Friday for a potential high. Has not happened as of yet. Same thing with the, uh, you know, with the rest of every single one of them. These are, these are charts that I've seen for uh, months and months and months. They're completing, and the only thing that's going to fail it is a huge move up. You know, something like uh, uh, the Treasury has just found another uh, $12 billion of gold or something like that. That would be a trillion dollars. Maybe that would do it. 877-927-6648. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter on the line. Stan, how are you doing? Broadsword to Danny Boy, broadsword to Danny Boy. Come in, Mr. Harley. The chicken is in the pot. The eagle has landed. Mm hmm. Uh huh. Well, I don't understand why we don't have Stan in the house. Stan, are you there? Well, uh, 
Wait, bear with us here one second, folks. We'll try to get this technical difficulty fixed up here. So we'll have uh, Stan to be uh, chatting with us in just a moment. He's put up his chart showing the S&P 500 showing right translation, which is bullish. And it looks like he's looking for a low coming in here sometime in early August. That's about uh, just a couple of weeks from where we are right now. I think you're there, Stan. Are you in the house? Not yet. Well, I guess the best way to do this, I'll wait till I hear from my technician there at TFNN, the prestigious and unequivocally one of the most brilliant minds in the Western Hello, United States. Hello, are you States. able to hear me? I think we've got Mr. Test, Harley one, in two, the house. Three. We're ready to test, go, test, my test. friend. Oh, shucks. I am so sorry. Oh, no, it's fine. They think I don't have technical difficulties. It's like a everyday occurrence for me. I just switched over to Windows 11, Stan, and I swear, I mean, I can't believe what they do to you. I mean, all the stuff that used to be real easy, now you've got to jump through hoops to get to it. So wasn't happy to see that over the weekend. But let's talk about the markets. They keep going straight up. What's your prognosis here, my friend? Well, maybe we've lost him again. I hope not, but uh, who knows? Al, what should I do, my friend? Okay, we're going to wait just a second to see if we can get Al hooked up here. Are you able to hear me now, Larry? You're coming in good again. Once Larry. again, we broadsword to Danny Boy, broadsword to Danny Boy. Come in, my friend. We're ready to go. Now you've gone again, Al, or Stan, I'm trying to communicate with two people at once. Well, I don't know what to do, but uh, Al, I could use a little help, buddy. Just tell me what I should do, because I certainly like to hear what Stan has to say, and then we'll get this thing working, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Okay, what appears to be there's having a little bit of a mic problem, but uh, let me get out, fill up this time frame in here because I get lots of uh, emails, uh, not lots, but several, about you know why I'm so bullish. And I posted all those charts in the newsletter over the weekend and made several videos for it. The reason why is that we're setting right at major A, B, C, D completions. Those are the things that I live and die for, folks. And I've been living better than I've been dying lately, so those things work pretty good. And we're we're at the proverbial moment of truth. Does that mean it's going to turn on the day that I think it's going to turn? Probably not. But all I know is that this week, if it's up really strong and closes really strong this week without any sell-off at all, uh, then I'm going to say, well, there's something wrong with this pattern. And this has got to move on because you can't stand in front of it. If we see a, a print of S&P E-mini uh, above 4570, uh, that would certainly tell me that this thing is probably not working and it's going to go uh, a great deal higher. But other than that, all of these patterns that I've looked at, I looked at NASDAQ, the Russell, the S&P, the uh, Dow Jones, all of them are, are making pattern completions, either at a perfect Fibonacci number or a perfect ABCD, but most times both. And that's what makes it so interesting. You don't see these happen all the time like this. And if we look at the Dow Jones Transportations, what it's done, you know, making 38-week highs and it's now pr performing worse than the rest of the market, that's the kind of thing that you like to see. And if you look at the Hang Seng, you look at the Chinese market, and they're telling you about how wonderful things are over in China, just look at that Chinese stock market chart, folks. You're going to see something that is not bullish under any stretch of imagination. So that's why we're really paying close attention to some of these. The same is true of the gold market. You know, we bought the gold down there at 1908. We had a nice rally of about uh, 60 handles uh, to the upside. But that's exactly what we did the last time we did it when gold started down for another $80. And remember, we have a long-term projection in gold at 1857 per ounce. And remember, 1849 is when they found the first gold up there in Sutter's Mill up in uh, Northern California. And, and even then, real estate was expensive because it was sitting on a bunch of gold. But uh, that's what we're paying attention to watching these things because I use a combination of numbers and patterns. I don't watch the news at all. As a matter of fact, the news coming in this week is that on the 24th of this month, the NASDAQ is going to discontinue the, uh, the waiting system that they have. 
And that's pretty much what uh, – do we have Stan in the house now? Hello. Can you hear me now, Larry? You're here. Well, tr try number three. We're ready to go, my friend. Please continue. Oh, <laughs> I apologize. Uh, uh, don't worry the about it. It was on my end, so uh, shame on me. <laughs> well, you're, you're, we're pleasant to have you just for a shorter period as we can. So please tell us what there you're looking go. at, my friend. Absolutely. Um, I've got some charts I thought I'd share today. First of all, let's take a look at the stock market. And uh, this is a follow-up from what we've talked about before. This is the S&P 500 uh, right through just moments ago. And what I've shown here are the trading cycles that have developed over the last year in time. And uh, the trading cycles all the way down into the October low of last year were characterized by left translation. But mm -hmm. since the October low, through the present time frame, each of the trading cycles, you'll note, has seen its crest occur to the right of the midpoint. That's right translation. Mm -hmm. That's indicative of bull market structure. And it continues through the present. Wow. How much longer do you think it'll continue, Stan? Well, I've got an answer for that before we, uh, before we complete here. Um, okay. This is a follow-up of the chart I've been showing you and the viewers now for literally months. Um, it's an interesting pattern that I stumbled on, and that is comparing today's pattern to exactly 20 years ago. And this is just amazing, Larry, but it, I, when I think it's going to run its course, no, it hasn't. Um, mm -hmm. This goes back the last uh, couple of years. And notice what I've done here with the with the blue vertical lines mm -hmm. is I've lined up the troughs. We saw a low uh, back in uh, 2002 uh, on October the 10th, right where I have my mouse. And in the present time frame, we made a low on October 13th. Then 20 years ago, mm -hmm. we made a late December low. And most mm -hmm. recently, again, a late December low. Then 20 years ago, we made a low in mid-March. And just recently, again, a low in mid-March. And then you and I have been talking about this on the air. And it just mm -hmm. keeps following the script. It we sure walked has. walked up, walked up, walked up. Back in uh, 2003, the market made a high on June 16th. And 2023, it made a high on June 17th. And it sold off for a week and a half. I actually thought when I was on the air with you last time, we might go just beyond the first day of July. Well, it bottomed, uh, I think, on June 26th, right in that time frame, and then went higher and made kind of an ABC up. And look at the present structure. I yep. hear we've got a commercial coming. We'll finish we got after a commercial. We'll be right back with Stan Harley, folks, of the Harley Stock Market Letter. Stay tuned. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're speaking with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Please continue, my friend. Absolutely, Larry. Uh, what we're doing is we're looking at uh, the pattern from 20 years ago, and mm -hmm. the similarity is just astounding. Um, the, uh, the market made a high in mid-June back then, 20 years ago. We did the same thing in the current time frame. We sold off briefly, then we made a pair of highs culminating on July the 14th, uh, back in 2003. Of course, in the present time frame, July 14th was Friday. I would contend that we are basically right in the heart of the envelope for a, for a short-term high. And then assuming the pattern continues as it did 20 years ago, we should be looking for a brief uh, consolidation into the first week in August. That would mm -hmm. then alleviate some of the technically overbought condition we have right now and it would set the stage for what i believe will be a continued further advance into the end of the year well they sure destroyed the sell in may and go away trick did this year for the what 11 out of the last 13 years <laughs> yes <laughs> okay. I, i'm not sure how well that works but uh yeah uh the, the the cyclical analysis and oh the pattern overlay and that's not the only thing i'm i'm, I'm looking at but mm -hmm. uh, the market cycles uh, the indicators that I track, all uh, the, the right translation that we discussed in the prior segment tells me we are in a bull market. Uh, one hears uh, all the, the uh, wannabe technicians on uh, other channels say mm -hmm. that uh, we're in a bear market, and I just respectfully disagree. I think we're, we're in a bull, and this thing is, is, is going higher. Um, how high and for how long? Well, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll take a shot at addressing that. Uh, it's my belief that the high in January 2022 was probably the high for most stocks and most ETFs. Uh, but when it comes to market highs in the stock market, everything doesn't turn on a dime. Bottoms, generally, yes. You get a spike, a V low, one and done. Sometimes there's a retest. Sometimes there isn't. But generally speaking, that's it. Tops, on the other hand, are rounding evolutions that sometimes take weeks, even months to conclude. And I think that's what's developing now. So we had a high in Jan 2022. Uh, there's another high yet to come, which I think will cap this thing off. It could last, and that high could last for years. Uh, so when is that likely to occur? Well, take a look at this. Uh, this is a chart of the New York composite going back three and a half years. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, going back eight and a half years. What am I saying? Uh, cycle highs, in my experience, have as their genesis point a, uh, a prominent spike low. So you get a washout low, and then the cycles that spin out from that low very, very commonly produce highs in the future. Cycle lows, on the other hand, have as their genesis point, the, their, their beginning point, a retest of that, of that spike low, in my experience. Um, so the market back in early 2016 made a spike low in mid-January. That's where the New York composite, by the way, bottomed. 
And then as we project from that date, that forward in time, equally spaced, approximately 24 months, have been all the subsequent highs. One really doesn't see this if one looks at a chart of the S&P or the Dow Industrials or the NASDAQ or the Dow Transports. But Larry, it's readily evident on the chart of the New York Composite. And assuming the pattern continues, um, that would suggest January 2024, 20, about six months from now, for uh, for the next high in the series. And that's what I think is going to happen right now, uh, as this thing is going to bump and grind a uh, little consolidation for the next couple of weeks into early August, regroup, and then uh, power ahead. And I think you're going to see one or more of the what I call the big five components and, and record high ground, and that might that high might stand for some time. Wow, very very interesting. These dates have been absolutely phenomenal, Stan. I look at them each time that you're on, and then I keep a track record of it. And boy, they haven't been off by very far at all. If you remember, uh, three weeks ago you were talking about uh, uh, J uh, July the fifteenth, uh, and of course that was a Saturday. That's why we're having you on today, and that's been. Pretty much exactly what you thought was going to happen. We made new highs, and just about all of those major, uh, well, recovery highs, of course, with uh, with Tesla. But almost all of them have had explosive moves to the upside. You know, my goodness, they've they've really been phenomenal. Is there anything in the in the horizon that would uh, change your? Uh, this is a question for one of our listeners uh, that would change your mind that maybe uh, that's not going to make it new highs here for the year. Uh, great question, and, and the answer is yes. I would have to see a breakdown in the uh, in the rate of ascent uh, mm -hmm. of the major indices, the big five, the Dow Industrials, the Dow Transports, the S&P 500, the NASDAQ Composite, and the New York Composite. Okay. I place Makes the greatest sense. emphasis on those five. And if uh, the, the rate of upward price movement begins to grind to a halt, then, you know, I may have to revisit things. Right now, I don't see it, but tomorrow, next week, next month, could that conceivably happen? Oh, you bet. And I, I never want to get married to yesterday's decision making. Uh, I always oh. start the new day with, okay, <laughs> um, what could change my mind or what could validate yesterday's uh, views? And, mm -hmm. and that's how you and I and everyone else uh, has to handle this business. Uh, this is exactly what we have to do is do one day at a time because when they explode, boy, they explode and stay up there for a long period of time. Okay, Indeed. Stan, we have a question about the Dow Jones Transportations. Uh, is sure. it up today? I haven't had a chance to look at it, but, uh, boy, that completed some major patterns from my perspective on Friday. Uh, is it up today again? Um, well, let me take a quick I should have uh, checked that before you came on the air, but I, I actually forgot. So Yes. Um, no, the transports are down. Oh, they're down about, as we speak, about 15 points. Oh, um, it looks like changed, it topped yeah. out. I say topped out. Put in maybe a short-term high three trading days ago. Um, but uh, generally speaking, uh, yeah, the transports, um, they have a bit of a ways to go to get to the high that occurred. The all-time high was back on uh, November the 3rd. Could they get there? Well, they get north of 18,000. Um, a little early to say, is it possible? Sure. Mm -hmm. um, I'm reluctant to make any projection on that index, but I think the transports, along with the other four components among what I call the big five grouping, are gonna chug a lug higher into, uh, into that January time period early next year. Okay, boy, that's pretty much spot on. One other question from one of our listeners. Uh, do you do any work? Uh, I, I know the answer to this, but I want to hear it from you. Do you do some work on gold also? I do a lot of work on the metals. In where, fact, where do you think we're that's going a good segue now? into our next chart. Um, okay. Oh, good. <laughs> here, is, uh, here is a chart of gold uh, going back to 1970. And uh, what I've done here with the purple lines is marked the major troughs that have occurred on the monthly chart and the dates. March 76, Feb 85, March 93, April 2001, and so on. And uh, they definitely have a pattern here, a recurring pattern. Indeed, all of them uh, are separated by a cyclical function that spans 94 months. Wow. Every 94 months, plus or minus eight, we've seen a major low. Awesome. 
Stan, we're going to have you on again soon. Thank you for your help today, and we'll have you back in a couple of weeks if you don't mind. I look forward to it. Thank you. I'm delighted you to be bet. your guest. Thank you. Stan Harley, folks, of the Harley Stock Market Letter. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, uh, regarding a uh, announcement of our program tomorrow, it'll be Shane Smolian, WolfTrader.com will be our guest. Uh, and then we will have uh, – that'll be it for the rest of the week. Uh, I will not be here on Wednesday, but I will be here on Thursday and Friday. Regarding the market making new highs again after the, what we saw on Friday, that would not be unusual, mainly because we do have this uh, very extensive coverage of this full moon that's going on. That might make it out a day or two, but at least by Wednesday, if we're making sharply higher highs by Wednesday, folks, all of the work that I did about this market making at least a good tradable top will be to no avail, and you can't mess with it. So that's really what we're watching. We uh, basically have not even put a position on in the stock index as of yet, um, but those of you that uh, – you know, we, we talked about watching a po possible 382 retracement. If you did that, you're underwater a very, very small amount. 
And as we mentioned, you'd have to risk at least a point and a half, 150 points in the Dow Jones, which is equivalent to uh, 100, uh, excuse me, $750. If you're going to do the S&P, you've got to risk 20 points. In the NASDAQ, I don't recommend people trading it until we get this thing done here on the 24th where these values of these things are a little bit more realistic because right now, those seven stocks account for about 60% of all the volume is what I heard of the price action in the NASDAQ. So that'll all change. There'll be a lot of information coming forward on that, but that's not till the till the 24th of July. That's a thing to keep in close mind. Also, uh, we're still short the gold market. Uh, it's acting okay. We're not up a lot, but we're up about, uh, what, $4? Uh, we were, we're up about $14, but it's rallied back $14 from the low that we made earlier this morning down there at uh, 1949 but we believe the product that we're waiting the the area that we're waiting to see is at 1846 folks so let's live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may god bless